morning, Mr. Lynch. Good morning. Get these orders out in a hurry, Miss Ames. And when that alleged reporter, Chuck Dixon, shows up, send him right in. Yes, sir. You put those flowers on my desk. Yeah. Roses and rather doodles. Uh, mostly roses, though. That was lovely of you, Slim. But I don't want you spending your money on me. Oh, shucks. What good is money to a person if a person can't spend a little of it on a person he likes? Oh, I've got some chocolates for you, too. Uh, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got them here. for the day. Uh, don't forget, we got a date tonight. Hey, kid, are those spats you're wearing or just your long winter woolies? <laughs> <laughs> He's always making a fool out of me. I guess that isn't hard to do. Oh, now, don't you believe it, Slim. You'll make your way up in the world someday. I'm already up there. But what does it get me? Nothing but dizzy spells. Oh, Slim. Uh, I want a different headline on the next edition. We've got to find this bird. What do they tell you at the house? Not a thing. The butler wouldn't let me in. Said Bigelow's uncle refused to see reporters. You know, I'm not always going to be a window washer. I'm going to be a reporter. I might even be an editor. Say, I might even own the newspaper. <coughs> hey, Thompson. Stop the presses. Tear out the front page. Stand by for a rewrite. <laughs> hey, Lynch, what's the lowdown on the Bigelow case? We're going to sit there like a dummy while the other rags scoop us deaf, dumb, and blind? Get on the ball, Lynch, or you'll be looking for another job. Understand? And if you can't get results on this story, I'll hire a city editor who will. And that's final. All right, Scoop. I've got something big for you. Clean the windows in my office. Yes, sir. And that's... Final. I'll show him. Someday I'll be a reporter for real. Might even tackle a Bigelow case. Sure. Why not? people's entrances in the rear. Just a minute, buddy. Announce me to your master. I'm a reporter. Mr. Bigelow isn't seeing reporters. Now be off or I'll stick the dog on you. Why, this is Nolan not leaving. I certainly am. Unholy sight. Weird sounds. Banshees wailing in the night. 
This house is no place for me. But that'll leave Mr. Bigelow without a nurse. He don't need a nurse. He needs a watchman. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Nolan. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, boy, be off. <laughs> James, buddy. Yes? How do you do? I'm a dear friend of Miss Nolan, the nurse. I understand there's a position open. You're wrong, madam. There's no position open. Good evening. It's all right, Oswald. Let her in. My bag, please. Mind Oswald, my dear. His bark is worse than his bite. Come here. I want to have a look at you. Well, a young and pretty one for a change. Your name, my dear? Agatha Patterson. Everyone calls me Aggie. I suppose you have references? Oh, dozens of them. I wrote them this afternoon. I, I mean, <clears throat> I got them together this afternoon. I made up my mind. You're hired. Thank you. Laura! Yes, Mr. Bigelow. This is my new nurse, Miss Patterson. Show to Mrs. Nolan's old room. Very well, sir. This way, madam. Oh, 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 oh. Are you all right? Oh, yes. Come on, see me. <laughs> and, uh... Your nephew, Lionel, is he away on a trip? I've forbidden to mention my nephew's name in this house, Miss Patterson. He's a fool, an ingrate, a, a bounder. I don't know where he went, and I don't care. There, there, Mr. Bigelow. We mustn't upset ourselves. Bad for our blood pressure, you know, and our liver. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk some more about our ratty nephew. Th I told you not to mention... Uh, uh, we must lie still, Mr. Bigelow. Or Aggie won't like you. That nighty night. Wait! Aren't you going to give me a sedative? Uh, what's a sedative? I, I mean, uh, what's a sedative for? What for? Things happen in this house. Strange voices, cries in the night. Why do you suppose I can't keep any decent help? Oh, come now, Mr. Bigelow. It's all your imagination. Uh, uh, Mr. Bigelow, what's the matter? Look! I, I don't see anything. I, I guess it's me. Nobody else ever sees anything. Oh, sure, sure. You'll be a good boy and Aggie will get you a Mickey. Yeah. I, I mean, something to make you sleep. One tablet dissolved in water before retiring. <laughs> that ought to do it. in a jiffy. Well, what do you know? Sleeping like a baby. Good. That a little kitten scare me, I'll never become a reporter. Hello. Oh, 
Hello, Slim. What's up? I'm at the Bigelow Mansion working on a story. The Bigelow Mansion? Yep. Before this night's over, I'm going to find out what became of the old man's nephew. I... There's something funny going on around here, Miss Ames, and I don't like it. Slim, this isn't your line. Don't take chances. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm not scared. Ah! Excuse me. Can I spend the night here with you? Well, no, no, of course not. Now, go away. Oh, but I'm afraid there's someone in my room. But this is no place for a lady. I, I mean, a young lady. I, I, I mean you. Now, get out of here. Oh, no, I must stay. I want to stay. Oh, please don't make me leave. I'm afraid. Oh, but you can't stay here. This room isn't big enough for two. Well, then you come to my room. All right, that's different. Wait a minute! Well, now what's the matter? I'm in a difficult situation. I suppose I should have explained before. Ah! But... Ah! Well, don't stand there. Open the curtain. All right, but make sure the door is locked. It's okay. He's still asleep. Maybe, maybe he's dead. Oh, it's only your nerves. Don't be silly. I think I'd better take something for my nerves. isn't in here either. I'm beginning to believe that she's not a nurse at all, that she's an imposter. Yeah, a detective perhaps, or a reporter. I've been throwing reporters in the record out of here all day, and I'll wager that she is another one. I understand. If she utters the word record, I'll let her have it. Say record. Lionel, that scallywag, 
trying to take advantage of an old man's weak heart. You see, my nephew knew I was going to disinherit him, so he got a hold of some scoundrels to scare me to death before I could change my will. Betty! Slim! Oh. Well, thanks for saving my life, Miss Patterson. Not Miss Patterson, Slim Patterson. Yes, of the evening record. Now, wait a minute. Who hired him? Do you want me to take my story to your competitor? Oh, no, uh, Slim Patterson of the evening record, my very best reporter. Thank you. Oh, <coughs> ah! oh I'm sorry, Mr. Oh, Lynch. I... There's another one! <laughs> Hello, folks. I get a theory about this case. It seems to me 